Rhymebell is now online. Hey guys and girls, and I'm going to show you how to create an image map using HTML and a little bit of CSS. Let's go! Alright, so I went ahead and set up a simple HTML page. And on this page we have a single image. And believe me, it is only one image. Let's get started. All right, so here are my documents. I got the image we're gonna be using, which is obviously a cool image. And now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it image map, and I'm gonna drag our image into this folder. And yes, I've joined the dark side. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but let's go ahead and add some new files, index.html. And then we're gonna go ahead and create our index.css, which is gonna contain our style for this HTML program. Sweet! In our head tag, I'm simply going to create a title tag, which is just going to say something like image map. Done. And below this, I'm actually going to link up our index.css to our index.html using the link reel style sheet. Moving on to the body, I'm just going to go ahead and add two divs, which is going to be our container div, and then our image container div. Done. And now finally, the fun part. So we're simply gonna Google an image map generator, HTML, CSS, whatever you wanna put. But I actually like to use imagemap.org, not sponsor anything. So here's how it works. We're gonna hit on select image, and we're gonna select the image we have saved in our folder. And now when we scroll down, we can actually see if we have our image showing, and we have some tools on top. And if we go even lower, we can see the generated HTML output. So let's go ahead and make this work. Okay, so we have a bunch of tools that's gonna help us to map out our image. We have a square outline, our circle outline, and lastly, our polyfill, which allows us to create custom shapes. And when we have our square selected, you can actually see on the right, it gives us the option to add a href, which is a link or a title, which is both gonna affect our HTML structure below. And we're gonna use these three shapes in combinations, or you could just hardcore with polyfill, and map out your whole image. So let's go ahead and do that. When you're all done with the polygon shape, all you have to do is to hit escape and that's gonna let you complete your shape. Awesome. So let's go ahead and copy our HTML code and paste it in our index.html. And voila, that's our first time. Well, I guess that's what everyone says, but okay. So now we're done with that. Let's go ahead and keep going. One of the things I like doing is adding target blanks to our links. And this is going to allow us to open up these links in new tabs. Sweet. So now we open up our website and we can click on the individual outlines or whatever items you made. And when you click on them, it actually takes you to the appropriate link. And now one of the things I did was to make the cucumbers take you to a custom link we have in our folder. Create a new file, which is going to be our second HTML, and just whip up something real quick. And now when we go back to our index.html, we can just put in second.html inside our href attribute. And voila! Now when we go back to the website, refresh, and click on cucumbers again. Wow, now it takes us to our second .html, which is awesome. So now we can link to outsource links, and also links we have in our own folder, which is sweet. I like it. Do, 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 do. Wow, and that's it. That's basically how to set up an image map in HTML. And now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of CSS to make our page look nice.
All right, and in this part, let's go back to our HTML and add in an ID to our image tag. And that's it guys. That's how to create an image map in HTML using a little bit of CSS. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, Rhyme Below.